So, welcome to the screen capture demonstration on setting up J unit testing in IntelliJ from scratch. It is a bit tricky in my opinion. So, the first few steps are quite familiar if you watched the previous screen capture demos that I've provided. Right, we click on new project and we click on Java FX. So this is going to be a new Java FX project using Maven, actually. Just like for the coursework, essentially. That's why I chose this. And there are some mistakes in here, and I'll point them out as I go along. So it's not a perfect screen capture demo. You can see what it's like for me to make a mistake and then fix it. So I give the project a name, Hello J Unit World, which is pretty exciting. Right? I have Java as my language, I have Maven as the build system, and then I give this group ID, which is the package, it turns out to be a package name in the project. I'm not going to create a Git repository. I'm going to assume that you will use your existing Git repository. And I look, I use the latest version of the JDK, which is 19. For this one, I add FXGL because you're working on a game and you might want to use this library in your coursework. So I show how to add that. And there the application starts up the new project. And you can see it's downloading software, right? Because this is a new project, new Java FX project, setting it up from scratch. This is the first time I'm doing it on this computer. So you can see what it's like to do it from scratch. This is a Mac, by the way, an iMac actually. So it's downloading a bunch of uh, dependencies and plugins and so on associated with Java FX. And then just for the fun of it, I changed the hello message in the main application. You can see I also change it this view and control view up there and controller. And just for the fun of it, I change it in the button. So you'll see the change the changes when I run the application here. This is just running the Java FX Hello World. So I build Java FX Hello World, which in this case I've named it JUnit Hello World, but really it's just a Hello World program. And then I run the Hello World program. And because it's Java FX, it brings up this window. There's the messages. Those are the messages that I modified. That's just building it, building the demo, and running the demo program. And then we'll start working on the testing aspects. So here I'm adding a new test directory to the project. Right? It's a new directory. I'm going to call it test, which is pretty creative. <laughs> and you'll see it appears, right, in the directory structure of the project. Which is not too, um, you know, that's like the standard directory structure of a IntelliJ project, essentially. And then I'm going to give this new test directory a special property. You see, I'm going to select it soon because it takes me a, a few seconds to uh, select it. So I cl right click on the test directory and then I mark it as a 
text sources root. Test sources root. And now I'm going to add a method to be tested to the hello application class. So this is a, a new method I'm adding, and this is the method I'm going to test. You know, since there are no methods to test, I'm just adding a very simple method to test. This is not the actual test, it's just a method to test. It's adding two numbers together. Not very exciting at all. So I'm adding that to my hello application class. And then for the next step, I have to bring up a new menu. So I click on, there's a mistake there, by the way. I make a little error. I click on Hello Application, and then I have to hit Alt-Enter to bring up this menu. And then what I do is I select Create Test. And then it brings up this dialog. I click the Testing Library, JUnit 5, the class name, which is Hello Application Tester. I change it to Hello Application Tester. It's going to create a new class, Hello Application Tester. I don't click any of the other options. And in this new class, I'm going to put some test methods. And these, are, these test methods use JUnit. So I click on OK. There's the new test class, Hello Application Tester. And now there's, this is the kind of tricky part, is adding a unit test. I think it's tricky because the syntax is a little bit strange. Um, and you can see I make an error. I make a few errors here. I've left them in so you can see what it's like for me to make errors and fix them. You might also make some errors and you might need to fix them. So this is not my first attempt. I believe this is my second attempt, actually. So the first attempt didn't work. I had to stop and look carefully and then figure out where my error was and then try it again. But I still, even in this second attempt, I make some errors. <laughs> but I've left them in. So there's a... There's a Comment there, avoid static methods. You avoid static methods by instantiating a new object. In this case, I've instantiated a hello application object, and I call it tester. That's how you avoid static methods, by instantiating new objects and then using those new objects to call the methods of that class or that object. That's a mistake that I see a lot of uh, new programmers make. They forget to instantiate an object and then call the methods in that object. So I've added some more lines to this, to this uh, te unit test. This is a unit test that I'm writing. And there's a mistake in there, actually. I don't know if you can see the mistake there's the new syntax right i try running it let's see if you can spot the error there's a strange error there that i'm you know is not very informative and i'm, I'm trying to fix it actually and because i don't know what the error is immediately maybe you can spot it before me i i do I would say that having the screen capture recording does affect me a little bit. So when I know that the screen capture is running and I'm being recorded, I think it does distract me a little bit and will cause me to make some, some errors that I might not make otherwise. Anyways, here I am trying to fix my errors. And then I realize, oh, I forgot to put the method name in there. So tester add number, and that's the, that's the method I'm trying to test. So it's a pretty silly error, actually. 
And then I'm playing with the syntax, trying to get it to work. And then I run the method again to see if it works. I get another error message, and for some reason I have to re-enter these input parameters into the unit test method, and I'm not sure why actually, but I had to do that in the last screen capture demo too. Then I re-run it, right? Rerun the test method, and it actually shows what it's like when the test fails. So I add two numbers, five and seven, and then I assert that the result is seven, and that shows that the test failed, right? The dialog, the console, right? So now I rerun it with the correct input, the test method, and then there's a successful test. That's what it looks like when it succeeds. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And please uh, give it a like if you enjoyed the demo.